Dart, Mortar, and Farm. This is currently one of the best loadouts in Balloon Sea Battles 2 and is often known as the most aggressive loadout because you'll be rushing your opponent a lot when you use it. So today, we'll be showcasing this loadout and a bunch of other loadouts because this is Sweat Series Episode 6, which is a series where I use the best strategies in Balloon Sea Battles 2 to teach you guys the best way to win and get better at the game. So let's hop right into it. Let's get it, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are against my man Dirt King 4, who's going normal Jericho, and I'm bringing Fate Weaver Adora. And we are on the map of Banana Depot today with the strategy of Tack Mortar Farm. I'd say this is probably the meta load on this map, and today I'm gonna show you how to use it. So here we go. I'm gonna start with my tax right here, and we're gonna buy super range tax on round one. Opponents doing the same thing. I assume my opponent's going the same exact loadout as me here, just with a different hero, so that's totally fine. Um, now, actually, they are going normal Jericho, so I don't want to place a farmer. Because if I place a farmer, that means I'll automatically collect my bananas, and thus it'll be hard for me to um av avoid their far their steals. So let's not do that. Let's get my Fate Weaver door down. Perfect. They got their Jericho down nicely done. And then we will just keep on max eco in here. But yeah, the biggest thing in this matchup for us, guys, is going to be avoiding their steals efficiently. If I can make their steals do very little money for them, I'm going to have a huge advantage in this game. But if their steals get the majority of the money stolen of the 250 cap, then they're going to have it be in a really good position in this game. So that's really what can change the game for us here. Avoiding the steals well. But in the meantime, we're just going to send them some, um, some a couple yell balloons this round just to force them to upgrade their tax shooter. We're going to upgrade a faster shooting on ours and... All right, we forced their two zero zero tax shooter. So after we do that, I am just gonna start saving up for my first farm here. Hopefully, I can get the farm down before the round ends. Is the idea? Yeah, perfect. Just like that. Before the round ends, make a banana from that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now we'll have to save it for even faster firing on our end here, which is totally fine. <clears throat> That's totally fine with us. Let's buy this. Okay, they are gonna steal from me pretty soon. Place a tax shooter to avoid it. Yep. And then upgrade the farm to avoid the rest of it. W avoidance, W avoidance, bro. W avoidance, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. We did. We made some plays happen there, ladies and gentlemen. We made some plays happen to avoid that steal. Okay, we're gonna use this ability. And upgrade my blade shooter. Perfect. All right, so you avoid the first steal really well there by placing the tax shooter and then selling the tax shooter and upgrading my farm. Um, now the second steal is going to come about on round seven. So we want to avoid that one as well here. So to avoid that one, I am actually going to remove an obstacle, I think, and place another farm will be my plan to avoid the second steal. So we'll be planning on doing that. We'll just remove this obstacle right now. The second steal should come about around round seven. Typically is the timing on that. So we'll just prep for that here. Um, and yeah. Should be a good time. Let's get my farm down. He hasn't stole. Oh, he's stealing from me. Upgrade the farm. Perfect. Avoid the steal. Don't collect the bananas. Yep. Okay, we avoided a decent bit of the steal. They still got a little bit stolen on me on that one, but a large portion of the steal was avoided, so that's good. A large portion of the steal was avoided there. Go for a third farm. Let's go for a mortar on our end here. We want to start saving up for a decamo mortar, of course. Actually, just upgrade this farm a couple times, though, because I'm being really greedy here. I want to be very, very greedy. They call me the Greedy Mahalik, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they call me. All right, got the mortar upgraded a little bit. Can I fit that? I can't. Okay, that's really bad. Just get a second mortar down here. We're good against their rush. If they steal from me, I upgrade the mortar to avoid the steal. Which I assume they'll steal pretty soon from me. Upgrade the mortar. Avoid the steal. Perfect. Dude, their steals are doing nothing to me right now. Their steals are doing nothing, bro. I'm avoiding the steals really well. This is great. This is fantastic. Okay. We're going to upgrade to a plantation for um the next round here. Plantation has been bought. We'll buy valuable bananas on it as well. Perfect, and now we'll farm on. Now we will farm on. All is good here. So they probably have a little bit more eco than me in all honesty. I'd imagine they do, because I couldn't send them like max rainbow balloon eco on round 12, because I was avoiding the steel and some of that stuff, but I do have them out farmed. So I might honestly catch up in eco, since I've got farms, uh, 
funding my eco. More farms funding my eco, if that makes sense. There's definitely a chance I catch up an eco. Okay, they remove an obstacle. They're farming more on their end, it looks like. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. They're stealing from me. Let's buy heavy shells here to avoid the steal. Perfect. Okay, we avoided a good bit of the steel there. They send me a Moab. I'll upgrade this to a hot shot. Okay, I'll boost this. They're sending two. Two coals for a boost. And then if they send me a rerush, all I'm going to do is get an artillery battery on our end. So we sell both of these for about... How much? 2,400, give or take. So I need... 5,600. Okay, we can afford the artillery battery pretty easily here. Yep, that should be a pretty simple defend. Alright, I like I like our positioning here. If they send me more, I get a tox shooter. Just like that. And this should be able to defend the fortified mob rerush. Actually, maybe not. I might I think I'm good now. They sent me a second fortified mob. I think I'm good against this though. Yeah, they're spamming fortified mobs on me right now. Yeah, I'm actually fine against these though. I'm so fine. We'll just keep eco going. I get artillery battery ability back here in a second, believe it or not. Alright, so use artillery battery ability. This BFB is going to be a little bit of a nuisance. Let's go for overdrive here. Target my ABAT. Okay. We'll stop my eco because this guy is sending me a million rushes, so why would I continue ecoing? Okay, let's use these. Okay, we're good, we're good. Avoid the steel. Uh, I can't really avoid the steel too well, can I? No, this is going to be a max steel on me, but... I find that they're max stealing on me now because I'm in such a good position since they sent me so many rushes and I defended them pretty efficiently. Okay. This I do need to focus up for though. This is actually a quite dangerous rush. Let's boost this. And we'll get a fourth overdrive here in a second. And then we'll use the Chains of Fate here in a second. And then we'll use Artillery Battery ability. And that should defend. Alright. Yes, sir. That's good. That's good. They're sending me another one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Against this one... This guy is unrelenting with his rushes, bro. We'll go for a fifth overdrive. And I'll actually go for a... Hmm. I think I'm going for a Shattering Shells here. Shattering Shells, believe it or not. And then shatter, sh Shattering Shells will... Defortify the BFBs. Okay, we're good. Set target. Wait. No way! I just lost that, bro. How'd I lose? One... One camo got through when I was targeting my mortar. Oh my gosh, that's so unlucky. I had that game in the bag, bro. I had it in the bag, sealed up and ready to go.
All right, guys, our next match of today's video is on the map Star here with the strategy Ninja, Alchemist, and Sniper. Opponents go in Druid here, which is actually pretty interesting. So props to them. But let's start with my Alchemist right here. And then we will be getting my Ocean Open on round one, of course. And it should be a pretty good uh, time for us. Ninja, Alchemist, Sniper, ab absolutely excellent load on this map. So I'm very excited for this one. Um, now, our Ocean Open actually will be placed on the water, believe it or not. I think we'll place it like right around here will be the placement I'm looking for on it. Perfect. Yeah, it's nice that you can place it on the water so it doesn't take up ninja spots for late game. And still has, um, still be able to throw its living coral in the back and all of that stuff. So, pretty good ocean open spot if I do say so myself. And then we will want to place my ninja in the range of this alchemist and in the range of the ocean open. So, the magic spot seems to be right around here. Yep, look at that. That's in the range of both. Perfect. That's the magic spot, guys. The magic conch shell. And we'll just keep it going towards my opponent, Super Tiger. They got their Druid down, so they're vibing right now. Nicely done, nicely done. I assume it's probably Druid sub farm from them, which honestly should be a pretty good matchup for me because the what the the matchups that are hard for this loadout are strategies that anti stole, like steal from you, like Jericho, and are aggressive. If I'm facing someone who's got Druid sub farm, it's they're not going to be anti stoling that well right now, and they don't have Jericho steals from me, so that's going to make it a little bit easier for me, for sure, because we definitely out late game them, so. The way they can win this is with a aggr good aggression. Good aggression is the plan for my opponent. All right, it's by um. Do I need sharp shurikens yet or no? I don't think so. They face palm me. Wait, are they just not gonna place a farm? Why did they go for? Oh, now they place their farm. Yeah, why did they go for a druid of wrath before they placed a farm down? That's not really um typical with a druid sub farm there. Interesting. Oh well, I'll let him cook. I'll let him cook, chat. Sharp Shurikens, and we'll buy a double shot on this as well. All right. Got the double shot up. Is this enough to defend white balloons and black balloons? I'm going to hope it is. I'm not entirely sure on that one, but I'm going to hope and pray this is enough defense. If it's not, then I can buy stronger acid on this, and that'll probably be enough. So if it's not enough to defend whites and blacks, I'll just spend $250 out of the bank account to, um, to make it enough. All right, they have second farm on their side. That's fine. Now, their Druid of Wrath will handle pretty well for them right here, but um, they will need to upgrade it to Lightning against Yellow Balloons on round seven. So I assume we'll see that coming out from my opponent pretty soon. Uh, it seems like this is handled in Black Balloons decently right now for us. All right, send them Yellow Balloons. Yeah, these Yellow Balloons should overrun them if I can send enough to the point where they're going to have to Tower Boost or upgrade their Druid. And it looks like they opt for the Tower Boost route. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. All right, 750 eco is pretty solid here. Now we start upgrading my alchemist a little bit. Larger potions, acidic mixture dip. If they send me region zebras on round nine, for example, we are gonna need a, um, what's it called? A alk buff. So far, nothing. I do wanna save up though, because, okay. They are actually sending me region zebras. Should be totally fine against these with Alk buff. Yeah. I do need to save up for this Blue Jitsu though, which I actually probably over ecoed now I think about it. Because I need. Well, do I get two eco boosts here before round 11 hits? We can go for an Alchemist up here and then. No, I'm a... I forwarded in time. I forwarded in time. I maybe slightly over ecoed. They probably could have punished me if they were quick with their rush and they sent a big one. Now they can't really punish me though. Cow traps on this guy. Send them some spaced rainbows here. All is good. My eco is pretty solid. We'll stop my eco though, because I need to be a little bit careful. Alright. Um, if they don't send me a rush, I'm gonna go straight for a rubbering to gold. If they do send me a rush, I can get like a shinobi buff on this guy. We'll keep this on strong. We'll keep that elk buff on strong. Rubber to gold has been bought. Perfect. Keeps on close now. Yeah, they are rushing me. That's fine. Am I good against this? Boost. I think I needed to boost that, to be honest. I think boost was necessary there, unfortunately. Okay, we'll get stronger stimulant on mine. If they re-rush me, all I do is... If they send me, like, an all-out rush, all I do is I sell my rubber to gold for a um, stick uh, flash bomb on my side. That's all I need to do against an all-out. Sell rubber to gold for a flash bomb. 
But it doesn't look like they're doing that at the moment, so we're chilling. We'll just keep Maxi going. Okay, now they're doing that. And we can get another Shinobi. This defends 100%. There's no world this does not defend an all out in. Yep. I knew it. Alright. That's a GG, ladies and gentlemen. They are dead against my rush. 100,000%. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, we, we got redemption after the last game, guys. We are redemption, so... One for one right now. I'll catch you guys in the third match. Let's get it. All right, our next match of today's video, guys. We are on the map Cobra Command. Um, recording started a little bit late, so my apologies. But we are facing Star here, starting with their um Dart Monkey and their Fate Weaver Door. I'm starting with my Alchemist and my Ocean Open because we're going to strategy of Ninja Alchemist and Farm today, which honestly should be a really fun matchup because I bet they're going the lower of Dart uh, Mortar and Farm, and this is always a good one. Dart Mortar Farm versus Ninja Alk Farm, two of the meta strategies clashing at each other, should be a fun time. That's um. Get my ninja down right here, though. Let's remove this obstacle as well. And then we'll upgrade it to ninja discipline. This should be decent to defend, I think. I'm not sure if I need seeking shuriken or not. Um. That's by seeking shuriken. That's by seeking shuriken. All right. It seems like this is doing its job now decently well. And we're also going to throw down this living coral and get our, my first farm down here pretty early. Is going to be the plan. We'll get that first farm down as soon as humanly possible. Uh, we're still leaking a little bit, unfortunately. This map is just a little bit expensive early game because the you have to remove the obstacle and stuff, but that's totally fine. All right, got our farm down. They aren't going Jericho, though, which is kind of good for me, so I don't have to worry about Jericho Steals, which is always nice. They are bringing Fate, Weaver, Adora. They get their second Dart Monkey down. That's going to be a um, crossbow on their end, is my guess with that one. Let's get Sharp Shurikens on my side, and then we'll save up for a double shot pretty soon. Perfect. Double shot has been bought. And paid for. All right, this should be pretty good for me now. We've got our nin alchemist up. We've got our ninja up. We've got our ocean open up. And our placements are really important here too, guys. Where my ninja will get buffed by my alchemist and buffed by my ocean open, but my alchemist will not buff my ocean open. And that's exactly how you want to place your things here for us. So we've got the correct placements of everything, which is also very very nice for us. But yeah, this is a top, a uh, former top two player. So we definitely have to make sure we're focusing well because. They're definitely a good overall player. It's it's gonna it's not gonna be an easy one by any means. Alright, we got a second farm down though. That's good. Now something. Hmm. I'm thinking about sending them some yellow balloons to stall the round out a little bit. But they might just use their level 3 fate weaver ability. We'll still send some yellows. If I can get a couple balloons past their crossbows and stuff. Oh, uh, they actually use their ability. Nicely done. Stolen the rounds would be really important for me if I can get if I can accomplish that. Any amount I can stall the rounds is good for me. All right, some some yells here. Are we forced a mortar on their side. I'll take it. I'll take a mortar force. Better than nothing. Keep throwing all these living corals in the back. Uh, they currently aren't sending me region zebra, so I'm gonna upgrade the farm. All right. Now they most likely will send me around eleven rush. In which case, I'm going to need a Bloon Jitsu against it. So I'll need a Cell Farm. Which is fine. I had to Tower Boost that too. That's actually bad that I had to Tower Boost that. That's very bad. Oh, I did not have enough money when I sold my first farm for the... Yeah, I might be screwed here. Hmm. I don't know if I defend an all out. We're good. We're good. Okay. Thank the Lord. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, they're dead against an all out. They are dead as can be. Let's just tower boost again to play it safe. I 
All right, they tried, they tried. Okay, I thought I'd be dead against an all out to be honest there. I didn't know we'd be able to defend that. Um, But yeah, I had to boost round 11 because I didn't afford my Blunjitsu in time. I was like only like, I was like $300 off, which was pretty unfortunate there, but we got the win. All right, I'll catch you guys in the fourth game. Let's get it. All right, guys, our next match of today's video, our fourth match is on the map of Star, not Star here, on the map Sun Palace with the strategy Heli, Ice, and Village. Now you may be wondering why I am not going like the classic, um. Ninja Elk strategies here because that's pretty much everyone, what everyone's going on this map, right? Ninja Elk, Ninja Elk, Ninja Elk. Well, first off, um, we already have gone Ninja Elk twice in today's video. I brought Ninja Elk Sniper and Ninja Elk Farm, so I kind of am kind of running out of Ninja Elk strategies since I can't repeat strategies. But second off, I honestly think Heli Ice Village might be kind of a Ninja Elk counter because this strategy definitely can fare late game pretty well against Ninja Elk. So we wanted to run it here. Um, they start got their Fate Weaver door down with their Alchemist, so nicely done there. We are gonna get. Do I start with the Ice Tower or do I start with the Heli? I'll start with the Heli, I think. Yeah, let's, let's go Heli start here. Haven't really ever played this strategy on this map before, so I'm kind of cooking as we go, but Heli should be pretty good placed right about here. Nice. I like it. Just kind of snipe some of these balloons for me on its way down. There we go. And then we'll send them blue balloons. Perfect. Good start. Okay, they're sending me blues as well, so they've definitely got an eco loadout. So it's going to be eco versus eco. Yeah, it's, this game's pretty much destined to go late game. Now, one thing that's a little bit dangerous, they are going Fate Weaver door, and obviously my Gwynnon's kind of placed in the center of the map, so their Fate Weaver speed up can be very helpful for them. Now, luckily, I do have Heli, so later in the game, I will be able to Chinook my, um, later in the game, I will be able to Chinook my Gwynnon to a different position to kind of make their level 7 ability less effective for them. So we will be planning on doing that eventually. I send some face pinks. Let's get my farmer down, let's get my balloon butt down here. And I think I'll keep my heli kind of hovered up here-ish. Now we are lagging a little bit. My opponent's on two bars, so it's a little bit unfortunate, but we'll work around it, guys. We'll work around it. And I think my ice tower will go right here for my ice shards and stuff later. Maybe I'll send I'll send some blue balloons at them. It, we are going eco versus eco. These rounds are getting stalled a little bit, so I think sending. A little bit more group deco instead of those space pinks could be a decent idea. I got our ice tower down. It's a pretty good ice spot. Can't lie about that. This ice spot seems pretty solid. I should... Can I fit two helis in here? Inside of this like middle area? Can I fit a second heli right up here? Because one good thing about this map is there's a lot of heli spots. Which I was thinking could be pretty good for us late game. You can fit an insane amount of helis on this map. So... Just spam in like Apache's late game should be pretty strong for us. If I can fit two helis in the center as well, that'll definitely help me out in addition. I can. I wonder if you can fit, can you fit three helis? There's no shot. There's no shot. Because you can't fit it very far on the right. I was thinking you can maybe like make a triangle direction with the helis and fit three. But that's not that's definitely not possible. Okay, does this defend black balloons? I feel like this does. Solo blocks. Yeah, we'll send them yells now. Keep some last. Keep the cocktail target right here. I'll throw it on cocktail if I need it, but at the moment there's no necessity for it. Uh, these balloons are starting to push a little bit. It's cocktail necessity. Let's throw it on the cocktail. Oh, they're actually getting overrun on their end. They have to use their level three ability from their Fate Weaver to defend. So that's a good force on my end. Forcing that out. If they send me purple balloons, I should be fine with keeping my heli down here because the heli will pop the purple balloon there. And then my Gwendolyn and my Ice Tower can pop the insides. Yeah, they're not sending me any at the moment, though. Let's we'll just start saving up for a Razor Rotor on our side. We'll need that pretty soon. We're also going to put Gwendolyn on last targeting now, because it has the burn effect available. Alright. Good start. One more Eco Boost here, and I should be able to get my Razor Rotors up. But at the moment, it doesn't even seem like I need it, in all honesty. We'll still buy it anyways, though. Yeah, we're good. I'm greeting a lot with my eco here. Look at this. I've got like almost a thousand eco right now on round 10. This is fantastic. Now, I might be a little bit too greedy because I can't really afford my ice shards yet. But in one eco boost, I can afford my ice shards. I doubt they'll rush me, though, because they have an eco loaded as well. So they don't really have much money to rush me in the first place. They don't really have the required funds to rush. Send some space rainbows. Bigger jets on the sky. All right, we're vibing. Now, it's going to be interesting who has more money here because they do have rubbered gold, which will give them a money advantage for sure. However, I have an increased eco village. I have village in my load, so I'll be able to get more eco than them. 
So rubber to gold will give them the early game money advantage, which also I should not send them black buns into rubber to gold. That'll give them the early game money advantage, but I might be able to catch up in money in the money game later on with my village play. So that'll be an interesting thing to watch. Who ends up with more moolah here? More money for the honeys, you know what I'm saying? I think I'll get a second heli down. Just so I have it pre-placed, in all honesty. I kind of want to... Kind of want to have one chill in here with my razor rotors, just in case, you know? You can never be safe enough against... Especially against Fate Weaver Door, where they can use that level 7 ability and just hypersonic rush at you. I gotta be, I gotta be careful with it. If they send me a Moa Brush, I'll probably buy an Embrittlement will be our game plan. An Embrittlement should be pretty good because it'll uh, uh, embrittle the Moab a little bit and then our Helis can do a better job against the layers. Okay, they stopped ecoing. That's normally... Oh, never mind. They're back to ecoing. So say if they stop ecoing, that's normally an indicator they're rushing you, but they're back to it. Yeah, the one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is though is their connection. I keep seeing their connection drop. And that means like if I click to move my Helis, it, it takes the Helis some time to register that I'm clicking. And then it's hard for me to micro against a rush. And you might be saying, Ryan, well, isn't it hard for your opponent to micro against the rush as well then? That's true, but my loadout is a lot more micro intensive than theirs. Because against a rush, I need to target my helis all over the map against the rush. While for them, it's completely different because they have um what is because they have ninja elk and they don't really have to micro anything. Their ninja will just pop the balloons for them, you know? Do I need to boost this? Let's boost this. Okay, I can't move my helis. That's cool. If they just re-rush me, I'll get level 10 Firestorm. Yeah, I can already tell that's going to be something I'm going to have to... I'm going to get really annoyed at this game. The fact that I can't move my helis properly is going to... That's going to boil boil my blood a little bit. Alright, let's get up an Arctic Wind here. Because I'm already getting annoyed at it. And we're only in round 819. Oh well. I guess it happens sometimes. That's just the way... The world works, but definitely frustrating. Are they dead to AI? Okay. Well, um, I guess that's game four, ladies and gentlemen, huh? Honestly, happy that game ended that way, because I feel like we probably would have lost at some point due to not microing my helis, but last game of the match, last match of the video coming up. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, our last match of today's video, we are getting aggressive here because I've already used Ninja Owl a couple times, so I can't repeat that strategy. We're going the strategy of Dart, Mortar, and Farm, believe it or not, on the map of, um, what's this map even called? Sun Palace, and we're against the one and only player, guys, the Darling Super Village person. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how they play this because their strategy was nerfed quite heavily in the recent update. Um, I also did not anti-stall round one like I meant to because look at this, I had some of the balloons pass. So I did misplay that, unfortunately. But yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how they play this matchup. They're probably not, I'm assuming they're not gonna go for a Sun Temple late game. They're probably gonna go for like an MAD and Homeland Defense and Dark Knights or something. Is what they will do, but we'll have to wait and find out. Let's get my um, Fate Weaver door down here though. Perfect. Um, I wanted to hit these balloons to anti-stall, but it's not really doing that right now. Yeah, I didn't really anti-stall that too well, did I? It is what it is. It is what it is, chat. Okay, they're gonna get their um DJ Benjamin on this round, I assume. Let's go buy razor sharp shots on my double on my trip dart just to make sure I'm anti-stalling here. And we will get our first farm down in a secundo. Perfect. We'll get their DJ Benjamin down on this income boost. Yep, there it is. Nicely done. And they place it all the way at the top there, so then my Fate Weaver door can't speed boost against them. That make that's smart, that's smart. But yeah, we'll have to be aggressive towards them, as I said earlier. Um, send them some rushes, limit their eco. Why is my trip dart also missing all the pink balloons? So it should be a pretty fun matchup in all honesty for us. I'm very, very excited to see how Sins are playing out. Let's get up greater production here. Perfect. My trip dart keeps missing. Pretty hard. And we'll go for a crossbow right here eventually, will be the plan. Oh wait, my um Fate Weaver Door. I don't have Fate Weaver Door level 3 ability yet, like I thought I would. That's actually bad for me. I thought I'd have Fate Weaver Door level 3 ability at this point, but I got Fate Weaver round 2. Instead of round 1. Okay. We're fine though, we're fine. We're making it work. Now I have Fate Weaver level 3 ability available. 
All right, we got a crossbow down. We're chilling. We're good. It's gonna farm down our end. They got double dartling on their side, so they're good. And then we will get a mortar down for yellow balloons because they're most likely gonna send me. Well, actually, do I even need a mortar against yellow balloons? I don't think they can send me that many yellows. I don't think they'll be able to afford to send a ton. I can just use Fate Weaver level 3 ability to probably clean these up if they send me a bunch. I don't think I need a mortar here. Let's use Fate Weaver level 3. Yep. Um. They sent me more. Let's boost. Let's boost. Boosting, that's fine. That's totally fine to boost against, I think. Yeah, I'm not really anti stole in these rounds too well, am I? I probably should have built up defense to anti stole, but instead I greeted, which probably wasn't the smarter decision. Um, It is what it is, though. I'm not very well experienced with Dark Mortar Farm, guys, so you gotta bear with me here. Not very experienced with this loadout. Okay, third farm. We'll send them Region Zebras in round 9 to force defense on their end. Yeah, we force Powerful Darts on their end. I'll take that. Go for another farm on my side. And we'll send them some Leads here. Perfect. That's going to force their Hydro Rocket Pods out. There it is. Nicely done. Rapid Reload on this guy. Make sure we're anti-stalling to the best of our ability. Super important. Okay, let's force some defense on their side here. Round 13. Forced a buckshot, I'll take that. That's what I was going for. And we'll get up a bank on this round. Round 13 bank. We got we baited out the buckshot, guys. We baited out the buckshot. Now I really do want to anti-stall. So let's go for a jug here. Or at least a sport. Keep us on last. Popping these balloons quickly is literally the most important thing for me right now. Uh, it doesn't even seem like it's anti stolen that well. What is this sport line of fire? Okay, now it's kind of doing its job for us. A little bit. Sorta. A little bit. Kind of. Sorta. Alright, we're just going to keep on ecoing. Um, Our plan will be to get around 24 monkey... Round 24 Monkey Nomics will be our farming plan here, I think. Overall, should be a pretty good idea. Our eco's not bad here. We probably have more eco than our opponent, believe it or not. Or similar eco, at least. Oh, dude, th yeah, we keep missing AI balloons. This is not good. Our Juggernaut spot's definitely an optimal. I probably should place the Jug right here, in hindsight. Would have been the smarter decision for it. Hmm. Maybe I could have a second Juggernaut. Just to really crack down on the anti stole. Just like that. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, this Juggernaut spot was not very good at anti stalling, was it? It was not the best. Not the most effective spot. By any means. Alright, 1500 eco so far is not bad. We're just gonna try to get as much eco as possible while getting around 24, um. While getting around 24 monkey nomics on our side would be the plan. They got a village on their side. Okay, nicely done. Nicely done there. How much is in here? Almost 10k in the far in there. Okay, that's good. I'll actually, send on one of these. Loon boost. I made them stop their eco. That's perfect. They stopped their eco to defend this. They built up, upgrade their buckshot a little bit. They upgrade their village too. They got a super monkey. They use DJ3 ability. Yeah, I forced a lot with that. We use Fate Weaver level 3 ability against AI here. We're good. I forced a lot with that Moab send. That was great. First. Okay, this is not actually popping the Moab as nicely as I would have liked it to. Let's upgrade. Mo yeah, that Moab went way too far on our side. That stole the round way too much. It's okay. We got IMF loan to increase this capacity to 20k. So we can do a big 20k cash out. Let's use Fate Weaver level 3 ability here. Stole around slightly. Anti stole around, I mean. Let's collect that. Let's upgrade this. And we'll upgrade this as well. We'll get. Okay, they're sending me zebras. Let's go double jug here. Make sure we're anti stalling. 
Double jug is good. We got 2,000 eco. All is good here. Uh, we're still not anti-stalling. Maybe triple jug? Yeah, we did not anti-stall still. The zebra balloons are going through too much. I should have probably should have done an artillery battery, to be honest, instead of juggernaut spam. Artillery battery might have been a better decision to anti-stall the rounds. Alright, pretty soon here I can get my nomics up. Perfect. Got our nomics up. We're chilling. I have my chains of fate available now too, which is nice. In case anything happens. They got their village up. Okay. It's up it's used this ability. Yeah, I definitely I feel like I've farmed pretty well here, but the main problem I've had this game is I haven't anti-stalled a lot of the rounds when I should have been. My placements of stuff were slightly off, and some of these rounds were definitely longer than I would have liked. Okay, we got that round anti-stalled well, which is good. How much do I have in here? 4k cooked up, so not that much cooked up in there right now. Soon I will sell my uh, central market for a, what's it called? For a banana central on our end, which we'll do. I just want to have as much money as possible to rush some late game. It's going to be the whole plan. The entire idea here. Alright, got our banana central up. Perfect. I'm still not anti-stalling. The Moabs are ruining my anti-stall. Okay, we're good. Keep hitting up PRFs on my end. We're just gonna spam banana research facilities right now. It's gonna be the whole plan defensively. The spam BRFs should work out pretty well for us. We're going to use Chains of Fate to anti-stall. Alright. We got Artillery Battery on our side. Collect that. We're doing good. Are they trying to... They're trying to go for a Sun Temple here, I think. The way they're building their defense... They're trying to get a Sun Temple up to defend. I don't think that'll work out well for them. I don't think the Sun Temple defense works late game anymore. No, they went for MAD. They went for MAD, actually. They're doing MAD with Sun Avatars, I see. That's their plan, okay. MAD with Sun Avatars. I see, I see. I keep sending. Let's collect this. Bloon boost. Keep sending. They're dead. They died to camos. What? Did they not have camo on their village? They definitely would have gotten overrun eventually too, but dang. I didn't expect them to die to camos. Well, GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe button with forward. As always, Ramak out. Peace, lads.